Hello and welcome back everybody. So today I want to talk about the ninth episode of Black Clover. The episode had a really smooth start, you know. We see how Asta is hunting boars and, you know, it is their first mission and it was said that they were going to hunt boars for that village that they were heading towards, which is the same village of the guy that Magna and Yami were playing strip poker with. At least I am pretty sure it was strip poker, you know. Some kind of card game that ended up, you know, if you lose, you take off clothes. Anyway, so I really liked how they had that smooth beginning of the episode because later on in the episode, things really go to the next level, you know. It goes from that smooth, harmless setting of just Asta running away from boars and Noelle missing with her magic, hitting Asta instead, you know, some comedy and just a peaceful sort of theme to it. Now, when they actually get to the village, that is when things start to get really dark and interesting and, um, you know, when they first arrive at the village, you know, we see how Magna is reacting when the village is covered in mist because he understands, you know, something is up because he's been in that village so many times he probably has memorized everybody's magic he knows that nobody has that kind of magic especially not at that level you know no one is that strong that they could generate a mist so strong that it would cover the entire village and they do know that if there were someone that were that strong it would be the mayor but he actually doesn't have that magic you know he has some kind of blade magic as we saw in the backstory which I will get into soon and yeah so obviously he's really worried because he understands that someone is in that village who does not belong there and he wants to get in there as soon as possible you know to clear things up you know see what's going on so he has Asta as clear his way you know because Asta can split magic he doesn't seem to understand it himself sometimes but I mean in this episode he seemed to be confused you know is this mist or is it magic and even Noelle has to point out to him you know are you dumb it's obviously magic. And when they actually get inside of the village, you know, we see how every villager is underneath. They look really roughed up. And um, above them is like just a massive amount of icicles ready to be dropped on their heads. You know, it's a mass execution waiting to happen. And Magna just comes in, you know, as the icicles are falling. And he just melts them with his fire. You know, they're just lucky that Magna made it in time, you know. And the fact that he had fire magic because fire and ice, you know, it is just a perfect counter I guess especially in a situation like that after they were rescued we obviously see how the major is just lying on the ground you know obviously dead because we see this wound on his chest and we find out that he was trying to protect everyone else when the evildoers first arrived and that is when we get into the sort of moment when Magna is having this flashback of him when he was having fun in their village in his earlier days you know when he had just gotten his grimoire because when he was younger you know he was on a motorcycle or a broom I guess it is that he was using well kind of the same broom that he has right now I guess except he was much younger at the time and yeah he was just messing around you know terrorizing that village with his new magic and the mayor actually is the one who schools him you know he puts him in his place to show him, you know, you're not as cool as you think, I guess. After that, he kind of gives him advice, you know. You should join the magic squads. You should become a magic knight, take the trial. And I mean, we kind of know the rest. So they obviously have history with each other, which is why Magna seeing the mayor dead on the ground is such a big thing in this episode. A big portion of this episode is just, you know, Asta, Noel, and Magna protecting the people. Well, mostly Magna and Asta, to be honest, because, well, Noel's moment came at the very end of the episode. But yeah, we see how this, the leader of the enemy, which is this guy with the sort of scar on his face, I don't think we got his name yet, I could be wrong, but yeah, he is the one using the ice magic. So he's obviously the one in control right now of this mass execution, as it were. He wants to kill everybody because to him, because to him, he considers the villagers to be beasts so he definitely seems to be like he's above them you know he thinks he's above them kind of like a noble or a royal I guess and Asta has a problem with that because, you know, Asta used to be at the very lowest of the lowest and the enemy actually believes that just yes, because he's a magic knight that he should agree with him, but he doesn't, you know, because he has history living in a church as an orphan. So he has no intention of siding with the enemy. And what's interesting about that is obviously that even Magna is in the same situation, you know, he's a magic knight too, but before he was a magic knight, he was just a mere commoner. 
corner, which means that he will not have any of this enemy's shit, you know. So they are obviously just protecting the people as good as they can. Asta is swinging his weapon, you know, at as many icicles as he can. And Magna is just shooting fire to melt some more icicles, although he is running out of magic. So to him, it's a bit more effort than for Asta. Because Asta doesn't really have any magic, he only relies on his stamina, you know, his physical strength. But Noel, that's when things get really, really interesting because as we know, she's a royal, you know, she's a Silva. And she's just standing at the back thinking to herself, you know, oh, I'm a royal, I shouldn't really be here. It's when the girl, you know, next to her grabs her and says, please help us, please save us. Um, because she's a magic knight, right? So the kid obviously thinks that she's going to save them, but in her head she has this sort of dilemma, like, should I be here or shouldn't I be here? Because I'm a royal. And after experiencing that little girl's plea for help I suppose Noel kind of understands you know that all right I get it now I'm a magic knight I'm a royal I am going to do what needs to be done because I'm a royal I'm going to protect those who are in need of protection those who cannot defend themselves that's the kind of royal instincts that Noel seems to have right now and I really like that development within Noel's character you know Obviously, like I've said in the past reviews, she's a royal, she has sort of grown into becoming a magic knight in the past episodes too. But in this episode, she kind of changed her view on what a royal is to her, you know, what should a royal be doing. So she kind of want to stick to her royal background, but she wants to make it her own thing. She wants other people to view royals as something good, you know, not something selfish. Because her way of doing things are just different. Like, if you look at any of Noelle's siblings, like Nozelle or whatever the fuck the others are called they're selfish pricks you know if you don't have much magic power if you're not a royal you're absolute trash in their eyes and noelle has nothing of that you know she's absolutely nothing like anyone that she's related to at least not in her family you know maybe she has relatives that are better who knows obviously i know but as an anime only you wouldn't know at this point right Noelle's development is something that I want to see further developed in the series of Black Clover because she's a great character, you know, as far as female leads go. I think Noelle is one of my favorites. I'm counting Lucy from Fairy Tale, I'm counting Sakura from Naruto, Ochako from My Hero Academia to some extent, I do like her though. But Noelle has such a deep background, you know, she has a very dark past because of the fact that her family views her in such a bad way and she's royal and all of that which kind of gives her some more depth in my eyes so i want to see her develop in a good way you know i want to see her at some point in the future stand up to her brothers and sister maybe even other relatives that may look at her in a bad way anyway so i think i'll be ending this review here let me know what you think down below in the comments and as always if you did be sure to detroit smash that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new to my channel this has been your favorite host perm and i will see you next time.